Happy Sunday, people. A few thoughts on the boxing last night. Number one, Inoue. Incredible. One of the most fearsome punches I've ever seen. Up close. Great win last night against Rodriguez. Um, also, Josh Taylor, new world champion. Great performance. Well done, McGuigan. Jim, well done, World Boxing Super Series. Great night, Sky Sports, The Zone, and Deontay Wilder. Uh, fair play. That was impressive. Powerful, explosive, very exciting. All eyes now on Madison Square Garden. Two weeks' time, Joshua Ruiz, and hopefully then the fight that will make the world stand still. Also, Dillian White coming on the hills. July 20, Oscar Rivas, hopefully. Hey, yo. E King's fight news. Y'all know what it is. Eddie Hearn finally gives credit. To Deontay Wilder, fair play, looked absolutely sensational. Do look like a heavyweight version of Tommy Hearns. He looked like he got a right hand straight from hell, and anybody can get it, man. That's what that's what it looked like. Um, the thing is. Eddie Hearn, according to him, he wants to make the AJ fight. You know what? I got I got to see Anthony Josh's reaction. I got to see it because the, the whole thing about the build to AJ Wilder, and this is the this is the same mistake. Big old Baza, Barry Hearns, Barry Hearns, the man that came out just flagrantly and say hey you know what this fight this fight needs to marinate for two years you know oh, this, this you know wilder is in such a rush why is wilder in such a rush you know this uh, this it could be a hundred million dollar fight well guess what the longer you wait the bigger the fight gets these fighters have smartened up these fighters aren't, they aren't slaves anymore, Baza. They aren't slaves anymore. They, they ain't going to just take what you're giving them anymore. Baza. <laughs> Baza. Okay, so Barry Hearn failed to realize that Deontay Wilder's stock just might, you know, equal or surpass that of Anthony Joshua. You know, those are the facts. If Deontay Wilder's stock is equal or surpasses Anthony Joshua, then guess who's losing money? That's right. Guess who's going to want more money for for that kind of a fight? You see, you see how you see how we could have got the fight in 2018. And maybe we could have got the fight in 2019. I mean, still time. There's still time, but they obviously don't want to make it. Powers that be. Including, I'm including Al Heyman. You know what? A lot of people don't want to talk about this, but Luis Ortiz just showing up all smiles and giggles. I want Wilder. I want to fight Wilder. Fuck, look, get this dude. Get this fucking guy. Luis Ortiz, go ahead and fight big, big fucking dumbass baby Miller. Is what Luis Ortiz needs to do. Or he can try and call out Dillian White again. Or he can say, I want all the smoke with anybody. You know, Tyson Fury. But honestly, this guy's being set up into a decapitation with Deontay Wilder. I don't know if anybody told him this. He's getting set up. For an execution against Deontay Wilder. And, and and all of a sudden, Luis Ortiz's team has no problem with that. Meanwhile, quote-unquote, he turns down an easier fight against AJ. Man, get the fuck out of here, man. Does that make, not make any sense to me? Does that make any sense? According to Jay Jimenez, 7 million wasn't enough. According to Luis Ortiz, AJ's an easier fight. So you turned down an easier fight... For seven million, instead of p potentially fighting Wilder again and getting your head knocked all the way the fuck off, like you gotta tell me what makes sense or not. 
You gotta tell me what makes more sense. Y'all gotta tell me. Wouldn't you take an easier fight, even if you're getting a bit less? Y'all tell me. Because according to Eddie and them, that fight's still on the table. But guess who wants to freeze out AJ? Guess who wants to freeze out AJ? Al Heyman. Al Heyman wants to freeze out AJ. Al Heyman doesn't want Eddie poaching more PBC for Anthony Joshua. To me, those are the facts of the matter. That's why uh, Joshua Ortiz never happened. Point blank and period. But anyways, Eddie Hearn finally gives credit where credit's due. And according to him, he wants to make the fight next. But according to him, all eyes are on June 1st. And we know AJ, he just might be in a slightly tougher fight. Against a Mexican, they they ain't they ain't coming to lay down. He ain't coming to look like Brazil. I'll tell you that much. So we're gonna see what AJ has in store. It's E King fighting you. Smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. This channel is still not monetized. YouTube still fucking with my bread. So hey man, y'all y'all wanna y'all wanna help out the channel? Y'all want more content? Hey, hit that, hit that link in the description box. I'll call it the unauthorized super chat. It's E-King Fight News, and I'm out. Peace.